I'm on my way home relatively early tonight. I do like to try and get to my Rotary Club meetings on Tuesday nights. Often I don't manage to. Often I'll be at some edge of the electorate or a couple of hundred kilometres from home and so I don't quite make it back in time for the meetings which start at six o'clock. But tonight being the last meeting before Christmas, I'm making a special effort to get back home a little bit earlier and make sure I can go along to the last Rotary meeting of the year. I came over to the Mudgee region quite early this morning. I thought I'd spend some time around the northeast part of Mudgee. So I spent time up around Frog Rock, Lin Linburn, Totnes Valley, around some of those areas. I haven't been to some of those areas before and I thought it was important to get across all parts of the electorate, which I have promised that I will do and I'm continuing to do that. But some of those areas there, it's good to talk to those people there. I met the self-appointed mayor of Frog Rock, so it was good to have a talk to Max there. But again, just people I spoke with about things such as coal, coal mining. I actually talked to one person who works in the coal mines. Now, from his perspective, he can see the advantage of renewables. He can see where the nation needs to lead. He also sees what I have talked about before, the idea that we shouldn't just cut it all off in one hit. We need to transition away from coal and into those renewables to make sure we've got enough power to supply the power that we all need to run our daily lives. I also talked about rail and the railways are incredibly important to take some of that coal across to Newcastle typically. But again, I think there's more opportunity there to have some of the rail links around the area, Mudgee, Golgong, link across to get people through to Sydney, passenger traffic, that type of thing, where I think we can utilise the railways that we've got, the components we've got, and then link up those railways, which used to be there, but are no longer being used. So again, some discussions around that today, and I think there's opportunities there. I then went down to Tottenham Valley, and beautiful area there. Some beautiful sceneries you're driving along down through there. But I met with a gentleman there who's got a house that's entirely off the grid. He showed me his battery storage, his four kilowatts of solar panels. And what I loved about this story was this particular gentleman works for a major national publishing company. So he works in Tottenham Valley, beautiful view, sits in his house there, beautiful quiet surrounds, a few birds chirping in the background. Most people wouldn't realise that he works for a major national organisation. And this is the mindset that I think people in Sydney don't quite get. They don't understand that you can still do many jobs that you do in Sydney, but not be in Sydney. And that's something that the Evo Cities program, which I used to be the chair of, really pushed that advertising in Sydney, that marketing in Sydney, to really educate people that you can still do many jobs that you're doing in Sydney, but move into a regional area, do the job there, probably do the job better in a more relaxed environment, presumably still earn the same amount of money, but the cost of living is so much lower. It ends up being a much better outcome for those employees. So it was great to talk to that particular gentleman and he had some fascinating stories to tell about his work and the work that he does do, but here he was nestled away in the hills of Totnes Valley and I think there's more opportunities for more people to do exactly what that particular gentleman there does. So I finished off there, came back to Mudgee, had a look at our premises. We're doing our official opening on Thursday for the campaign office in Mudgee. That will be the fourth campaign office I'll have in the electorate. And as I mentioned, now going back over to home to make it back home by six o'clock to go and attend Rotary. This has been Matthew Dickerson, your independent voice.